So I'm hoping that uh, I don't cut off my fucking fingers. So we'll see. Well, I think I mentioned this before, but like, it's pointless for me to set up a composition, and then they get home and like adjust the composition for a different thing. If you buy like painting surfaces at a store, they're like either eight by tens or nine by twelves. I haven't seen like a nine or an eight by twelve. And my pictures I take with eight or like a two by three. So eight by 12. So 16 by 24. So I'm going to go cut some masonite and some wood. And I think I'm going to cut it in the bathroom. Yeah. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I have my studio which is still kind of messy but not as messy because so last time i moved all this stuff here and set up my miter saw and cut then i had to reset this up but what i want to do i believe is maybe bring that i gotta clear it off but maybe bring that table in here for now like right here because i built these and I had, because I ended up cropping this down, and it was like, I mean, it's okay, but it's not, the original picture, the composition was better. I'm like, why am I doing that when I just make the painting surface like the same ratio? And cut it with... My miter saw. So I got a, I got some mason out here. I want to cut. And the one by twos. I got a few of them left. Not this. These. I think we'll make it <coughs> probably like. So it'll end up like this. Where's the. I mean, obviously it's going to be a different, but it'll end up where it's like the surface here, then it's cradled here. First of all, it's easier to set in here because the way the grooves are in here. If you have just this, this is the reason I have this set like this. Because if you have the grooves, like it'll set in here, but you won't be able to paint all the way up. Unless you pre-plan and plan on cutting it down later, then framing it up. I could have it like that. It's easier to put in the easel to paint. Then also, when I'm done, I can wire it up real quick. And it's pretty much ready to go to the gallery or whatever. I don't have to, like, then frame it up. Right, if I do a lot of them, it takes up a little bit more space. Obviously, holy shit. They're just having a bunch of panels, but, I mean, that's... I already have, holy fuck. It's easier. That's all I'll say. So, I'm gonna work on setting that up. What, you're telling me you don't have a wood shop in your bathroom? It's not weird or nothing. At all. So as you can see, I'm cutting some. I got some of the, uh, uh, this might've been a bad idea. I'm like, oh, how to do it outside. I'm like, no, I'll have to run a drop cord or extension cord out there and take a table out there. But, yeah. I got some of these cut for the longer sides. I gotta cut some for the shorter sides, but I'm probably gonna run out of. <clears throat> I don't have much one by twos left. And I cut these down on this. Well, I had it straight, but I cut it down. And it, it, it kinda works, so. Eh, should be good for now, I guess. So I kind of ran out of one by twos, but I have enough to do. Do I cut more of those? 
but I got like three. Yeah, I got like three. And that one's like short. It's like almost, but not quite. So I can't do four. So I can like make three of these up. Then I'll have to go get some more uh, one by twos. Maybe tomorrow or this weekend, possibly. Yeah, so. I just gotta. Now glue and nail all this stuff together. So, basically, I'll make it look like that. Make sure everything's pretty good, then like glue it to that, glue those together, and then put like some brads in there. You flip it, it'll be a painting surface. I put that back in there and I kind of cleaned eh, most of it off. Whatever. Anyway, I got like this much stuff. I think earlier too when I was like cutting one like one like psh, and like shot way the fuck over there. Like a little end piece. So I'm going to clean this up. At least clean this top part up. I'm going to put some of these together. Then I get them together. I'm going to sweep the floor up, I guess, and sweep off my pants and brush off my pants. It's contained, but it's fucking messy too, because I've been running the fan as well. Five eighths. I have five eighths brads that I'm going to use in this to help secure it. Like I'll put it. Put it together, make sure the measurements and everything are right. And I have that, I'll put a little bit of, I got some wood glue. Put a little bit of glue, tack it with some brads. And I'll set it over here after I get this cleaned off. And I'll set all of them up that I get fixed. And then I'll set this on top just to make sure everything's like nice and tight. Then after they dry, I'll paint them with the primer, which I have. I've been using this gesso mixed with uh, like yellow ochre acrylic paint to give it to uh, make it kind of a toned canvas with the gesso as well. So I'm gonna work on that. All right, now I got these glued and nailed together. Gives you kind of like a little frame. And I'll take and I'll glue. I'll put some glue and I'll put it that, and then I will flip it over into this one hand. Then I'll put that weight on top. See, in the past I have like done it. Then took those nails and nailed it in here. But it kind of, if I'm doing like a heavily textured thing, it's not an issue except for the background, which is pretty thin. So it usually causes issues, at least on one side of it. So usually it's just better. I mean, if you put the glue, I'm gonna put the glue, make sure it's like, you know, the edges or everything are like right. And put, was it like a 10 pound? Yeah, and I'll just keep stacking them on top when I get done. And let it set overnight, like you can't, it's, it'll be on there good, you can't get it off without essentially ripping it off. So, and you have a nice even surface. And I got hard masonite, because I want to start doing some palette knife paintings, like this one, and like that one. Get some texture. Cause with the pal I guess with the palette knife you can if you're like really careful with it. But with me, I'm like really rough with it, so I need like a hard surface. I don't like. I have like tried it with a canvas before, and I just it just rips through because you're having like essentially like metal. So I'll do a couple of those. Then I'll probably paint them tomorrow after they like set overnight and dry. So I had enough to do three, got it all lined up, got them all stacked on top of each other. And I also put another piece of a uh, masonite on here just so I don't damage it. And I got this uh, 50 pound dumbbell. I figured it'd be a little bit better than the 10 pound. I mean, because it's heavier too, but because it's like spread out a little bit as well. 
uh, let that sit overnight. I'll come back and I'll gesso them. I'll put uh, two coats, at least two, maybe three. They'll dry pretty quick too. And uh, they'll be ready to paint. I just have to go and figure, I gotta pick out which uh, photos I wanna paint. That's it for tonight. I gotta eat and shower and get out of these like sawdust filled clothes. But yeah. Productive day.